Alice Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the Mountain Buggy Swift. Mountain buggies are the most rugged and durable strollers that you will find great for all terrain. It was started in 1992 by a dad that wanted to run the mountains of New Zealand with his little one. The Swift is like the little sis of the mountain buggy urban jungle with its narrow and lighter frame and smaller wheels. Let's take a look at it. The seat is roomy. It has, it's 12 inches wide and has a 20 inch seat back from back of the seat to the top of the top part of the seat. Also, it has a measurement of 23 inches from back of the seat to canopy top. So even our three-year-old 36-inch tester was easily fit in the seat. The seat comes with a padded five-point harness, and what we really like is the buckle on the mountain buggy. It has red safety buttons that you have to push in first, then squeeze the other buttons in order for it to release. Our children could not get this undone, and we have Houdinis that try to get out of everything, and they're forced to sit in their seat because they can't get the unbuckle undone. The seat includes a removable baby bumper bar, but no snack tray or cup holder for baby, and a non-adjustable footrest. The seat has a recline system that's done with two hands. It has a strap system. Um, we'd like to see a one-handed bar recline because it makes it much easier for moms. But it, all you have to do is pull in the two straps, and you can kind of put it in any position that you would like, including nearly flat, which is great for newborns. And as you can see, it's very roomy for their baby. The only problem is when you put it up, all you have to do is pull the straps but it's going to be hard with the child's weight in the seat because it's going to be hard to kind of get it in the position you want. Plus, when you pull it up like this, all, you see all of this fabric kind of gets in front of the seat and it's going to get in the way of your older toddlers. So what you're going to have to do is stuff it on the other on the back of the seat so that your room your seat stays roomy like that. So we we don't really you know like that part of it, but it's not too bad. Let's talk canopies. Now, the mountain buggy canopy, not the largest on the market. It will sufficiently save your child. But what's great is it has a flip-out visor that gives you an eight inches of additional sun coverage, which it is UV protected too, so it's going to add extra coverage for your child. It has a very large peekaboo window, so you can see in and on your child, that has a cover as well. And it has an adjustable handle for t taller and shorter parents. It goes all the way down to here, and then all the way, there's ten, actually ten positions you can put it in all the way up to here for the tallest in parents so they don't kick the frame of the stroller. There's also a water bottle holder on the side for mom. There's no other parent tray or anything, but it's nice to have something like a water bottle holder. The two straps off the handlebar. The first one is a runaway strap in case you're jogging with your Swift, um, just so the stroller doesn't get away from you. And the other one is the lock, and we'll talk about that later. So let's talk about other storage on the Swift. Underneath, you're going to find a medium-sized basket that's going to fit a medium to large size diaper bag. And inside the basket, there are even two pockets that you can put the looser essentials in there so they don't roll around on you. The Swift sports some pretty heavy-duty um, tires for all terrain. These are 10-inch air-filled tires in the rear, and there is a swivel. It goes 360 degree swivel air filled tire in the front, but you can also lock it by just twisting this one button and that's going to lock it so that you can jog with the stroller or even rougher terrain is going to handle better. The only um, complaint we have is that their air filled tires and mountain buggy didn't include the air pump. Um, it only costs under $10, so it's not a big deal, but we would have liked to have it included with the stroller. There's a linked brake that links both brakes to the back wheels and it's easy to do with just your foot. The maneuverability on the Swift is amazing. With the air-filled tires and the front swivel wheel, we were able to navigate this around the tightest corners, even fully loaded with one hand. We took it on grass, playground mulch, rocks. We even took it on snow, and it handled wonderfully. So the maneuverability is top-notch on this stroller. Pulling the stroller is really easy to do. All you have to do is pull up on these two levers at the bottom here, and the whole thing will fold down into this flat fold. Now there is no automatic lock. There is a strap system that you can lock the, the frame for transporting, which isn't hard to do, but we like to see an automatic lock for you know parents' convenience. And what's kind of neat too is that it has a standing fold. If you put the handlebar in the right position, then that way, it stands on its own while folded, which is kind of nice. The Swift weighs in at 21 pounds, so it's not heavy, and it, we're easy to, it's easy to put in and out of your trunk. That's a rather compact package, as you can see. Now, unfolding the stroller, really easy to do, too. Lay it flat, undo the lock, and pretty much, you pull it open, so it locks into place, and you're pretty much ready to go. 
There's some great accessories for Mountain Buggy that will work with the Swift. There's a storm cover, a sun cover, and a travel bag designed specifically for the Swift. And there will be some car seat adapters to make it a travel system coming out later this year. Now, if you like the pram feature with the bassinet, they do that too. There's this great carry cut. We're going to show you how it fits on the frame. Now that you've completely removed your seat, you have your great little carry cot for your small baby. And it just clips right to the frame. You want to put both clips on either side of this marker right here, and that is the way. And you snap them down. There's four of them, two on each side. And you've got yourself a pram with the carry cot. What's nice is the carry cut also comes with a rain guard to keep your baby completely out of the elements that wraps the complete carry cot like that. Nice thing about the rain cover too is it zips open. So if your baby wants a little bit of air, it's not raining at that moment, or easy access to your baby without taking the whole rain cover off. With its fabulous maneuverability, it's full reclining seat, it's adjustable handlebar and air filled tires, we think this is a fabulous all-terrain stroller. And this is the review of the Mountain Buggy Swift by Holly Schultz of BabyGizmo.com. Check out all my latest news and reviews on my new blog, RatedByMom.com.